today is our sixth annual Climate Change Summit for Teens. This is an event where we bring high school and middle school students from all over the state here to Rutgers University to learn about climate change. This year we focused on community resilience. A group is going out to the solar farm to look at the university's effort to mitigate climate change. All right guys, you want to come gather around here? This is our Livingston Solar Farm. It's been in operation for about five years. Today I'm learning about the solar panels and this year I just got into like the whole alternative fuels so I'm more interested in finding what the world's doing so I could try to do something myself when I'm older. Global warming, we have the ability to reduce it. Maybe not completely stop it, but at least be able to greatly reduce it, but we're just not really doing anything. That just amazes me. Climate change is happening. The very big picture, which is where we all stand and it's on this earth, and we need to make a change right now. Yeah. Then we'll have our scientist roundtable where we have a scientist sit with the kids and we discuss different aspects of climate change on a personal level. Wow, this is what the world is coming to? If we don't stop this now, Lord only knows what will happen. You can't never be too young to learn about this, how climate change is starting to erupt. My generation's not going to have a future if we don't do something about this. We're learning how everything's connected. Well, anyone else? What else? You don't have to wait till the world's about to end to try to save it. You should start to save it <coughs> earlier. That's a great point. And then we'll have our film festival, where the kids will show off their videos that they created over the last couple of months. In many places on Earth, we cannot see all the stars. At night, our communities are veiled in light. Hello, my name is Joyce Backhouse. And my name is Kimberly Incarnation. And we are your local news pastors reporting live from e 2 Keep the access to the waterfront, because that's part of what makes Hoboken really special. But you also want to do it in a way that protects from the water. I couldn't be more proud of them. They're interviewing their mayors, you know, high-level officials, and asking them tough questions about what their town's plans are for mitigating and managing climate change. When you have resilience, you harness inner strength that helps you rebound from a setback or challenge. Today will be successful if the students articulate that they've learned something and want to continue to go back to their communities and make a difference in climate change. I see kids who, whether they want to work on science or engineering or public policy or communications and outreach, I see kids who want to commit to a positive future. They really need to have a voice because this is really about making sure that their future is one that's safe and healthy. We don't stop here. I'm hoping to create a generation of kids who really understand and know what climate change is and that can make better environmental decisions based on this knowledge. And one day we'll have a solution for it.